Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is nothing but boats and streams. So, before going into the concepts of boats and streams and solving various sums, we should know four basic concepts in boats and streams. One is the speed of boat in still water, speed of the stream, boat upstream speed and boat downstream speed. Before going in depth into the concept, let's know what is upstream and downstream. So let's say this is a person that is traveling on the boat and then the river is flowing this way. Okay, let's say the boat speed is u and the river speed is v. So what is upstream downstream? So upstream is nothing but a river is flowing in a direction and you are going in opposite direction to it is nothing but upstream. You are going against it is nothing but upstream. What is downstream? A river is flowing and you are going along with the river. So that is nothing but downstream. So these two concepts you should understand what is it because lot of problems will be dealing with upstream and downstream. So now let us go into the concept. So you know this is a boat that's going in u kilometers per hour and the river is going in v kilometers per hour. So first let's go from the bottom. So boat downstream speed. So as I told you now downstream is nothing but your boat as well as the river is going in the same direction which means your speed and this speed will be added together. So it is nothing but u plus v kilometers per hour. Now, next they are asking for boat upstream speed. As I told you, upstream is nothing but your boat is not going in the direction of the stream. It is going in the opposite direction. So, it will be u minus v. Next, they are telling that speed of the boat in still water. So, this is nothing but speed of this plus this, this is why we do. So directly it's nothing but half a plus b. So when you add this, you can find it out this, you, it will give you a value of 2v, which is not, we just need the value of v, that's why we are taking this half a plus b. You don't need to understand how we derive into a plus b, just remember it. So next is the speed of stream, which is nothing but half a minus b. So these four concepts and these four formulas, you should know it very thoroughly to solve any problems in boats and streams. After knowing all these four concepts, it's all about understanding your question better to answer any question in boats and streams. Let's get started with some of questions. So the first question that they're given is, a boy can row upstream 10 kilometers per hour and downstream 20 kilometers per hour. Find the man's rate in still water and rate of current. So when they see this question, a lot of people think that, okay, they didn't ask what is a boat speed or a stream speed. So they are asking, find the man's rate in still water. What is This is nothing but boat speed. So we know that boat speed is nothing but half A plus B. So downstream speed is nothing but 20 kilometers per hour and upstream speed is nothing but 10 kilometers per hour. So half 20 plus 10, which is nothing but 30. 30 by 2 which is 15 kilometers per hour. So we know, we know that the man's rate in still water is nothing but 15 kilometers per hour. What is the next part of the question? We are asking rate of the current. Rate of the current is nothing but stream speed. So we know the formula for it. Half A minus B is equal to half 20 minus 10 which is equal to 5 kilometers per hour. They have actually asked the boat speed and the stream speed but in a different way. So you just read the question one or two times, you will itself find out it's nothing but a boat speed and stream speed. As we know the formula, directly we substitute it and find the answer. Let's solve another question. The second question that they have asked is, a boat can travel at a speed of 13 kilometers per hour in still water. If the speed of the stream is 4 kilometers per hour, find the time taken by the boat to go 68 kilometers downstream. So. To find the time taken, we should know, they have given the distance, we should find the time taken. So first we need to find the speed here. So downstream speed. How do we find the downstream speed? It is nothing but the addition of your speed of your boat and as well as the speed of your still water. So the speed of the stream is 4 and then speed of your boat in still water is nothing but 13. So, which is nothing but 13 plus 4, 17 kilometers per hour. So, what is the question? 
find the time taken by the boat to go 68 kilometers downstream so they have given the distance as 68 kilometers we know the speed is nothing but 17 kilometers per hour so what do we do we know the speed and distance formula speed is equal to distance by time so what do we want to find we want to find the time so which is nothing but distance by speed so we know distance is 68 and the speed is 17 so which is nothing but 4 so, this gives you the time taken by the boat to go 68 kilometers downstream. So, today we solve two simple problems to understand the basic concepts of boat and stream. In the future videos, we will be discussing on the various tough problems that in boat and stream one may face. So, if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. <music>